My name is Anthony. Today I'm going to be showing you how to load the release on a Sony line of the lightweight release transponder. For this, you'll need a lightweight release transponder, a deck test unit, test loop cable, and a release nut. Okay, so let's get started. Prior to loading the release nut, make sure that the steel shaft and release nut are greased using an underwater grease. This helps to reduce friction and in turn reduce the torque on the motor, increasing the release reliability of the LRT. Connect the looped end of the test lead directly to the transducer on the LRT. Connect the other end to the command unit. Note, you can only use the test loop to load the release and not the remote transducer. Using the right hand frequency rotary dial, select the load position. Make sure you have the release nut to hand and press the battery slash load button on the command unit. When the motor starts to turn, engage the release nut, making sure that it is not an angle or it could cross thread. If the release nut does cross thread, you will need to replace it. The motor will turn for a total of 60 seconds, but the release nut should take only 30 seconds to load fully. When the release nut is fully loaded, the motor will reverse briefly so that the release nut is slightly loose. This will minimise the power needed to release the LRT when it is deployed. It is worth noting that the release nut is a consumable item, so you will need a new one each time you deploy the LRT. Thank you very much for watching our video today. For further information on any of our products, please visit Sonyline.com.